all enjoy watching our heroes' comebacks and how they beat the villains who were looking down on them just right to end up looking cool. That's why we love all the manhwa where the MC appears deceptively weak but is actually quite strong. Are you one of those who is interested in a story where the main character looks deceptively weak? Then we have prepared this list just for you, as you will find in manhwa where MC deceptively looks weak but is strong. And the storyline of every manhwa is completely various from others. Without further ado, let's get started. Immortal Swordsman in the Reverse World comes in at number 10 on the list. Chu Ching is a sword expert farmer who 300 years earlier unintentionally went into the fairy world. During those 300 years he started his cultivation journey. At the time of reaching the realm of eternity it was not anticipated that he would instead open the hall of time and space and return to earth at the age of 17 years. But when it turned out it was not the earth he once resided in, the world was reversing the roles of ladies and men. How was his journey to find a method to go back to the initial world and defeat and dominate strong ladies on the planet? This is a decent manhwa where the main character looks weak in a 17-year-old body but he is subdued and no one can beat him. The story is more on the harem side than the action side but the art is good and the characters are well drawn. If you want to read a cultivation manhwa with a reverse gender role, try this out. Moving to the ninth spot on the list. The first one. Due to his unusual body, a young boy named Wu in the martial arts world was unable to practice his craft. Will he accept his fate and live his life being bullied and looked down upon by others, or will he improve and become a master? This is an exceptional manhwa where the concept is basic. The MC was not able to cultivate but conquered that challenge and became stronger. Additionally, the artwork is exceptionally well done and neat. It differs from traditional manhwa and is more in keeping with the style of Korean webcomics. Characters in the story are likable and the plot is good overall. The manhwa was unfortunately dropped as it accelerated. Most likely because MC had extremely quick power-ups and was losing fascinating rivals at that point. If you do not mind the axe, you're in for a reward reading this series. Moving to the 8th spot on the list, the two-faced princess consort. After a harsh split Xiao was struck by lightning and transmigrated into the body of a cute young noble lady. She trounced her two-faced sister and charmed the man hailed as the god of war. Since the author states so and not that character or reasoning, from the very first chapter you can already tell that this will be a story that moves. The female lead deceptively looks weak, but she can battle and when the she is positioned in the new body she solitarily beats hired thugs with ease. From this scene alone you can inform that all conflicts tossed at her will be beat by plot armor. The story doesn't offer anything initial or brand new however the art is decent and the characters are presented in a great way, give this a go as you're looking for a manhwa where the MC is looking weak however can teach the bad guys a lesson. Moving to the seventh spot. The Crazy Adventures of Mystical Doctor After the modern female killer traveling cross she was reborn as a loser in this brand new world, the fifth young master in the general's house. As a result she started the way of turf counter back, collecting all kinds of magical animals and artifacts and began the experiences to meet with the actors. This story is respectable and you should read it without a doubt if you enjoy cultivation. It is not perfect but it is average, and the main character is revealed to be too naive and deceptively weak in public. If you're looking for an action manhwa with a good-hearted main character, you absolutely must read this one because the story is fantastic and the artwork is excellent. Moving to the sixth spot on the list, Above Myriads. Ifong was ice-kied into the domain of cultivation. Though others in this world are excellent cultivators he is unable to do so and is required to depend on an ineffective approach. Countless so-called strong immortals grovel at his feet and all of the world's lovely women want to be with him. If you want a more laid-back and relaxed manhwa with a strong MC who deceptively appears weak, this is the one for you. Although having a lighter plot than lots of other stories it has a terrific balance of action. Overall, it is a comical manhwa with some action rather than a manhwa that is strictly action. Despite his lack of cultivation and unawareness of his own strength, the MC is subdued. If you're looking for a funny and great story, then offer this a go. Jumping to the fifth spot on the list, Sealed Divine Throne. While the devils were rising humanity will become extinct. Six temples increased and protected the last of mankind. A young boy signs up with the temple as a knight to save his mom. During his journey of marvels and mischief in the world of temples and devils, will he be able to ascend to end up being the strongest knight and acquire the throne? This is a binge-worthy manhwa with amazing visuals. The MC makes decent progress towards his goal and you can see that the story is going somewhere. 
If you're a fan of martial arts and fantasy comics, this is a very entertaining read. Whilst the story is the rather tame compared to other works in the exact same genre, it's still a great read overall if you're looking for an easy martial arts comic that does not contain too much drama and stress. Moving to the fourth spot, My Dad is Too Strong. The story of this manhwa is about an absurd untalented civil employee who becomes the heavenly devil. Somehow he gained a daughter out of nowhere. Now he wishes to live the rest of his life quietly, unlike his life in the Murim world where has plenty of conflict and gore. In general the story is enjoyable to read and entirely funny sometimes. A number of characters are quite special and relatable and the art is colorful and pleasing to the eyes. Read this if you want a light-hearted story about a subdued guy just vibing after being given his initial life after reincarnating. Moving to the third spot on the list, Weak Hero. This manhwa focus is on Grey. He came to a school run by autocrats whose favorite pastime is tormenting the weakest kids in class. Additionally this mystical brand new student threatens to take apart the established order. He might be small in stature however his calculative and ruthless combating leaves unwary challengers pushing the floor begging for mercy. Now the school's toughest bullies need to scramble to take down this brand new and uncommon hero. Instead of all the other school gang manhwa this one really has such a great and strong story. It is so heartfelt and at times makes you want to cry. Grey isn't powerful for no reason and seeing him win in all those fights is so rewarding too. Moving to the second spot on the list, Black Haze. In a world filled with magicians and demons, we meet Rude a little blonde 15-year-old who looks deceptively weak however his past is filled with mysteries. As soon he activates his magical powers he transforms into one of the most effective and famous magicians of the nation referred to as the Black Magician. Rude attends a magical school to fulfill a mission and meets new people there. Now with his power Rude wishes to conserve his new good friends all while trying to conceal his secret identity. Overall this fantasy manhwa is a great mix of funny and action. When you can get past the really first chapters the story is really intriguing and the art is pretty great. Reaching the first spot on the list. Tower of God. When you reach the top of the Tower of God, anything that is in your most outlandish fantasies is possible. Those fortunate sufficient to have a pick by the peak climb each floor to satisfy their fantasies. The best aspect of Tower of God is how smoothly it presents characters and also how well the plot flows. The story comes down to following our main character Bomb as he fulfills brand new friends on his mission to reach the top of the tower. The plot actually obtains a lot from old fairy tales and other stories however does such an excellent job making it appear so distinct. The story keeps pinning the deceptively looking weak bomb versus impossible odds however due to his colleagues and later his own effort, he is able to keep moving on. Overall it's worth reading if you want to experience an action-packed world and need a protagonist who appears weak but carries himself in a unique way. That's all we have for today, if you find your next read on this list then give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends, also give us your suggestions in the comment section below since it helps us to give you more recommendations and present to you a better better content every time, and remember to press the red button for more videos in the near future. Thank you for your time, we'll talk again soon.